Now, apparently, telling the time seems like such a basic skill. However, schools are being forced to scrap traditional clocks for digital ones because teenagers as old as 16 cannot tell the time. Oh. Is that for real? Oh. Apparently it is. Oh. Um, so is it up to our schools to try and teach our teenagers the time or is it up to all of us at home to try and teach it to them when I've they're got younger? A ten year old and a seven year old, okay? The ten year old, I thought I am gonna do this really well so that you can tell the time before you go back to school. It was the most painful experience of my entire parenting life so far. I thought it would be easy, five times tables, going to the hour, going past the hour. It was horrendous. So, it, in my mind, schools, it is your responsibility <laughs> to teach children to tell the time. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. They do teach them, though, from primary, don't they? They teach them, because I know Kira started learning in primary school. Well, they can't be, so 16-year-olds leaving school not to learn Yeah, but the it's time. funny because now, of course, they've got all the phones, so they That's just it. look at their phone. Um, most of the 16, you know, Kira's 16 and her friend's 16, 17, and most of them can tell the time but struggle with the 24-hour clock. Oh. Why? Because so, it's too many numbers, more, more than on two <laughs> It's because, I think, yeah, I think it's, big, you know, a lot of the times they'll turn around and go, what, what's 20, 40 again? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whatever. Well, I can tell the time. Did you not act out big hand, little hand? Weren't you acting I out the kitchen? The I did everything, Janet, honestly. When the big hand reaches the top and all of that. Well, I learnt the time and I've collected watches and I love owning watches and I would never go, I hate digital watches. And I yet you're always late. Yeah. Oh! oh wow. Good boy! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> well, I'm all right. I thought I'd deal with her later. <laughs> <laughs> but what I can't do are uh, the timers on a cooker. Can someone oh, explain that to me? This is brilliant. Right, so you get the cooker. Oh, sorry, I've got a hair on my face that's driving me mad. Um, so you go to the cooker and you've got the booklet and you want to, every Sunday, put the roast in the oven, go for a walk, and you want it to start at a certain time and finish at a certain time and then rest so that as you come back through the door, there'll be that lovely aroma. And what do you do? You stand there and you're stabbing at it. <laughs> and when you make the red, you've got the arrow going forward, you've got the little casserole sign, you've got the pingy, the pingy bell thing. <laughs> make the mistake and what happens? It goes ping, ping, <laughs> ping every five minutes. And, and it you locks can't... itself in. And then it locks itself yeah, in yeah. because then you press the casserole by mistake and the oven's turned itself off yeah. and you can't remember when the hell it's going to go on or go off. So basically, you disconnect the cooker, you go down in the basement, turn the whole the electrics off, turn them back on, and start again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, it is like that. Who invented the timer? How on the long cooker? did it take you to tell that story? <laughs> Sorry. My invisible one. Can I just say, Colleen looks really relaxed. <laughs> Don't you have those kind of cookers? No. <laughs> well, yeah, I do, but I never use the clock on it. I put the meat on when I want it, or I use me um, phone. Phone, I, I do the phone the alarm thing, to yeah. go off. But I remember getting, when the girls were in primary school, one of those little clock things that you move the, the hands on. Do you remember, did you do that? And then you, you do your own time thing at home and you move the, the hands around no. this little clock? No. It's no. like a little stand-up cardboard thing. Shh. We're the only one. Move on. It was really useful, OK, yeah. teenagers. Right. Teenagers out there, if you can't tell the time, go and get yourself one of them. Christine, the Christine, just, Christine, just quickly, though, we did do a poll on this. Whose responsibility is it to teach children to tell the time? 84% said parents. 16% oh. oh. teachers. There you go. Oh, You're outnumbered. Oh, my goodness. Outnumbered. Good luck, parents.